guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm giving you my February wrap-up. So in February, I was in a reading slump and I read four books, which my average used to be, uh, what, 12, 12 books. So this was a bit of a decline, but I still read, so I'm gonna tell you what the books that I read. I sort of kind of participated in contemporary -athon. I read two out of the six books that I was planning to read, so I'll talk to you about those. I took one vlog clip that I will insert in here. It'll be great. So let me talk to you about the first book I read. I read Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I actually read this for my reading my favorite booktubers favorite books of 2018 video so I'm not going to talk to you about this because this will be in a vlog that I'll get my shit together and do eventually so I'm not even going to tell you the rating. I will tell you that it was kind of Harry Potter-esque. This is about a girl who was born on a cursed day. So she is blamed for everything that goes wrong in her world. No matter what it is, she's to blame because she was born on this particular day. And she is basically gifted to study at this place and she has to go through all these trials to be accepted. And that's all I'm gonna tell you. I read it. It took me a very long time to read. I was also reading it at work, which I shouldn't have done anyway, but it was taking me so long and I don't want to say anything else. Just know this was the first book that I read in February and you'll know more about this later. Okay, the second book that I read, I can't actually find the book. It's been one of those days, guys. Um, but I found the dust jacket so great I read the opposite of innocent by Sonia Sones I think this was this was for contemporary -thon, and I believe it was for the challenge of reading a book in a different format or something and this was a story told in verse so I started off contemporary -thon really well and I read this I think in one day but the slump was just too much for me and I <laughs> I didn't really finish anything else. I will insert a vlog clip of my reaction here. Oh, it's day one of contemporary -thon. It's 5.30 and I finished my first book. I finished a book in a day. I haven't done this since November, so amazing. I finished, I don't know, I'm gonna show you this cause it's just a book, but I finished The Opposite of Innocent by Sonia Sones. This is a book in verse, and I gave it three stars. The reason I gave it three stars is because it dealt with really heavy topics, including pedophilia and rape, and lots of, lots of heavy topics, and I felt like the book in verse left a lot out and it would have done better as just a novel. So this was super short and all of the pages were super short and I just felt like I wanted more out of this really important story and it was too short and I love short books but this was too short so I'm giving it three stars. I thought it handled it really well the topic but I just felt like maybe if it wasn't in verse, it would have been better. So I finished my first book, day one. So what I plan to do now is start First and Then by Emma Mills because it is the second shortest book on my TBR. And hopefully I can finish that tomorrow. I only work a half day tomorrow. So that's my plan. Happy contemporary -thon. one book down. I'm reading again. This is great. So yeah, I gave this three stars. Um, it was fine. The ending was pretty, it was pretty open-ended, which I didn't love. And also, I, I, because it wasn't verse, it didn't go into more, like, as much depth as I wanted it to. 
which I think for this story would have been important. This is a story about a girl who is in love with her father's best friend and basically he is grooming her and his pedophilia and it is serious but because it was in verse and it was so short, it was like less than 300 pages, it just was very like everything felt so abrupt. So. It wasn't the, my most favorite thing that I read. I'm glad I read it. Like, I read a book in a day, which is something I hadn't been able to do since January. So I'm really glad that I did that. But it wasn't the, my most favorite thing that I read. And then the next book that I read for Contemporary-a-thon was First and Then by Emma Mills. I think this was the challenge to read a book that I, like, wanted to read in 2018 and didn't get to. And this is actually a book that I probably wanted to read back in 2017 and didn't get to. So I read this. This is a story about a girl whose cousin comes to live with her because basically his mom gave him up um, and has like drug problems and then he it gets on to the varsity football team and she becomes close with this star athlete on the football team and it was fine. Honestly, it reminded me a lot of The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord, which is like one of my favorite contemporary romance books ever. Um, it just like wasn't as good. I don't know if it was because it was so short, like it's 227 pages, like this thing is short. I don't know if it was the writing, which sometimes I felt disconnected to, or if it was the main character, which sometimes I thought she was whiny. So could have been all three of those, who knows? Either way, I ended up giving this four stars, I think because I was just so happy that I read it and I read it during contemporary thon and I never vlogged about it. But just know I read two books for contemporary thon, which is probably the worst anyone's ever done for contemporary thon, but I tried my best and um, I finished two books and this was one of them and honestly, it was good. It wasn't like super memorable, but it was a good young adult contemporary, which is all I'm looking for. I love young adult contemporary. So. And then the last book that I read for February was A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Uh, this is the book that my book club is actually reading for March, but since my slump was so bad, I was actually afraid that I wouldn't like finish it <laughs> by the time book club came around we still haven't had book club yet it's next week so I finished it which is great um at least if you're watching this here's my spoiler for book club um I gave this three stars I think like in my goodreads review I think I said like 3.5 however <laughs> the more I think about this book and I've read the sequel now the more I hate this book and I think I'm going to lower my star rating to two stars and that is because of a couple of things so to get into the story basically this is a story about Marguerite whose parents are scientists and they develop this device that lets them travel to themselves in different dimensions which to be honest sounds fucking awesome and it was sci-fi and I was like I'm not gonna like this at all and I ended up loving that part of it and that's it because it was a love triangle and I am the queen of love triangles like I give me a good love triangle but in this story it just felt so stupid I don't know it took away from all the cool sci-fi stuff that was happening and then you're just like thrust in the middle of this love triangle and it just didn't do anything for me did not love the love triangle and there is this event that happens when she is in her other body i guess in russia called the russia verse and something happens while she's in the russia verse that i hated i hated it i hated this so much i almost dnf'd it i was like 68 percent in it. i almost dnf'd it but like i should have dnf'd it i should have dnf'd it because i read the sequel a thousand worlds with you i think i don't i actually don't remember i have it right here a thousand skies above you okay so i read the second one and we go back to the russia verse and like 
the consequences of what she did in Russiaverse comes to fruition in the second book. And I just hated everything about it. So I know it's going to be a quite a discussion on Thursday for book club, but just know like I've read other people's reviews like other people that I follow on Goodreads and booktube I've thought I've read their reviews of this book and we have a completely opposite takes of this book and I don't know if it's because they read it back in 2015 and 16 and things have changed and I'm wondering if they like would reread the Russiaverse part if they would go back and be like this is problematic as fuck because it was problematic as fuck and I'm giving this book two stars so okay so that uh that's all the books that I read in February it wasn't a great month it wasn't an awful month at least I read so this is exciting I'm currently reading New Moon by Stephanie Meyer I'm like 50% in and honestly it is fucking great. I or literally read it 10 years ago. So, you know, I forgot, like I've seen the movie a billion times, but they're different, of course. But I forgot how good these stupid books are. So I'm really enjoying myself reading New Moon. Um, it's the middle of March and I've only read two books. So I'm looking to only read four books again this month, but that's okay. Reading slums happen. Booktube slums happen. I'm here. That's all that matters. Alright, thanks for watching my video. See you in my next one. Bye!